Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, it's not exactly a Clip Studio Paint specific, but it does apply. What I want to show you guys is how you can create your own custom fonts for free and also how to combine two TTF files into one TTF file which is called a TTC file, a combined file. That way you can uh, put a regular font and a bold font and even an italic font if you want all in the same family. So uh, without further ado let's just get started. Okay so the first thing you want to do is come here to uh, Calligrapher. This website is free to use but with limitations. If you want to use the full capacity of this website you will have to pay and it's a monthly subscription. So uh, to do that you come here to upgrade your account. I'll leave you guys to uh, look at that. But to create a free account all you need is an email and you'll set up a password and you can use the free version which is minimal uh, capacity. So once you create an account, click this here that says create a template. So here's what you will select what you want to use. Uh, you have all these different languages. I use English, so I'll click English. Now the free version only lets you have 75 characters total. If you want to use the full capacity, again, you'll have to upgrade your account. So I'm going to use also the minimal numbers and so there's the numbers and letters again I'll show you what it's like when when you go over see I click the minimal punctuations and that's 79 characters the free version only allows you 75 so you can either uh, click individual characters to delete them or you can just um, simply until you get to 75 and there's 75 so you have some punctuation you have all the numbers and all the alphabet uh, for this example I'm just going to use the minimal English and the minimal numbers that's all I need once you have that selected you hit this here uh, download the template uh, you can call your file name anything you want I'm just gonna leave it as is and if you're going to use clip studio paint you want to I would suggest downloading it as a PNG I don't think uh, PDF is able to be imported into Clip Studio Paint uh, but if you're gonna draw this by hand uh, it doesn't matter whatever file you want and you will print it draw your letters and then scan it and put it back in your computer and then you'll upload it to the website but again I'm using Clip Studio Paint so I'm going to select PNG and then I'm go also going to select characters as background. You hit download and you'll come up to this page here. And so here is you'll click this link and it'll download the zip file. Um, I've already done this. I'll do it again. So here is the zip file and inside the zip file you'll see two uh, you can see this is I've done this before already so you'll see these two PNGs these are your templates and what they will look like is like this so here's the two uh, templates and remember I chose to show the the characters as a light gray so that I'll use that as a reference so once you have those two saved on your desktop, open up Clip Studio Paint. And what you want to do is you want to open up a canvas of 1667 pixels by 2367 pixels, uh, 600 uh, DPI as a resolution, and color. And you hit OK. And so that this uh, canvas size is the exact size of your downloaded PNGs. I've already done that here, so 
you can see it fits perfectly and that's what you need um, once you have that then you can start drawing uh, you can zoom in here and get your pen tool um, create a new a new layer above your template and then you can start drawing I'm using a mouse right now so uh, it looks a little weird but you can draw however you want to draw your uh, characters uh, I've already have uh, my characters drawn so here's my characters. so I drew these and then you'll open up a second uh, canvas and do the same thing 1667 by 2367 uh, import your your uh, template and then draw your your characters above once you have those two cre uh, created let me get rid of this one uh, what you want to do is just then export as a JPEG I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call it uh, Leroy 11. Save. Uh, I'm going to save it as grayscale 100% and hit OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one, except I'm going to call it uh, Leroy. 22 you can call it whatever you want these are your fonts it's saved to the desktop again grayscale 100 percent now once you have that done what I would suggest is if you want uh, to have bold letters you have to redraw your letters uh, a little bit thicker I've already done that here. The easiest way that I did it was I would grab your selection tool and click outside the letters. Once you click outside the letters, make sure you come in here to these letters that have uh, a little inside and you click all those little inside uh, areas. Once you have all that selected, invert your selection and then expand your selection. I did about three pixels and that worked out pretty good for me. And then what you do is you create a new layer and then make sure your black paint is selected and then you use the, the paint bucket tool to fill. And so it thickens up the letters for you. You can see here, I didn't select the inside of these letters. So you want, again, make sure you select the inside of uh, letters also and then you can uh, unselect and so that then that'll be your bold but I've already created that so I'm gonna delete that I've created that here in this layer here totally separate layer and so what I'm going to do is save that onto the desktop as well I'm gonna call it Leroy 11 B B for bold grayscale 100 percent and then i'll do that for the second one again i created a separate layer with much bolder um much bolder letters leroy 22b another thing you'll notice is that um for my lowercase letters as if you look at the template, you'll see that these letters down here at the bottom are lowercase letters. But in comic books, the, we don't use lowercase letters, so I just made them also uppercase. The only difference is the letter I. When I use lowercase I, you can see it does not have the bars. But when you when I use the uppercase, I have bars. This is just a preference for me for my my fonts when I use it in comic books. Uh, again, you can use you can create lowercase uh, letters for your fonts. So now that I have uh, those uh, JPEGs saved, here we are here, and then here's the bold. Okay. 
So we have both the uh, the regular and bold. All right, so now we come back to the website calligrapher. We can close this out. And now we come here to where it says my fonts and go to my fonts. We're going to create a new font. We're going to call it whatever we want to call it. Leroy. Oh, Leroy, not Leroy. Leroy. And for me, I I experienced this with trial and error, but for me, 80% works the way I like it to look. And for the word spacing, I like to match it up with this one above here, which is 100%. So for me, this works out. You might want to leave it as default or you might want to do trial and error. The thing is, it won't let you really mess with this until after you upload it. So again, I had to do trial and error. So now that you have that created, so now we're going to upload our template. And these are the, the drawings we created. So um, I called it uh, Leroy 11 JPEG. Here it is. And also uh, Leroy 22. And automatically clean the template, yes. And then you upload it. And so here you'll see your letters. You should see lowercase if you created lowercase. But again, I know that it's here because here's my lowercase i without the bars. And then here's my uppercase with the bars. So all my characters are here. So now hit this link here. Add characters to your font. And so here it is. Uh, before I do anything with this, I'm going to go to edit font. Okay, everything's good there. And you can do this, adjust the baseline. Um, but everything pretty much, if you stuck, if you stuck with the, uh, the template and the, um, if you stuck close to the, the, t the example letters, it should be fine. So now we're going to build the font. Uh, again, it's going to ask you to give it a name. Yeah, that's fine. And then build. So here's where you can try your, your lettering. So um, this is my Leroy font. And I'm going to hold down Shift and hit I, and you can see a capital I has the bars, which is what I want. I can do anything. You can do the punctuations um, and the numbers. So if you like what you see here, um, then you would just uh, download it here. Here's the Leroy regular t TTF and OTF. Um, if you don't, like this uh, I believe you can just close this uh, come back to your details adjust the letter spacing and the word spacing and then hit save and then build the font again and then call it whatever build it and then it should and then try it again you know uh, come up here and type some letters with some spaces to see if that's what you want um, so I don't need I don't usually use OTF so I'm just gonna download the TTF so once that's downloaded um, I'm gonna come to my downloads folder and so it's right here so you can put that right there and so you'll do the same thing for your bold, but um, I'm going to show you the way you install uh, fonts in a Mac. You simply, or also in a window, you simply double click, and it would op it'll open up this thing called uh, Font Book. Now the thing about uh, Font Book is that you'll see here that it, there's only regular, 
right? It's not bold. There's there's no selection for bold. So this TTF file is categorized as regular. And this website only categorizes all TTFs as regular. You, maybe with the full features, you can change the category. But as far as I know, I didn't see anywhere where you can change the category. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is create the bold and you do it the exactly the same way so um, I'm either gonna cut that out or fast forward it but I'm not gonna bore you with it so uh, but basically I need to delete the font and so that I can upload a new font when I create the bold so uh, I've already created those so yeah I'm gonna fast forward all right so there I created the bold now what you will notice is that uh, the website calligrapher automatically named it uh, Leroy bold because that's the name I chose but hyphen regular again the website makes all TTF files categorized as regular so again if you if I double click this you'll notice that see it doesn't give me the option to select bold and if I were to install this font in fact hold on let me let me install the regular and then the because essentially this is what you want you want this see I have Leroy bold I mean regular and I have bold they're both under the same family right here's regular and here's bold if you do not change the category of bold this is what happens and again you have to do this um, if you want to use the bold feature in Clip Studio Paint for the word processors in both Windows and Mac I don't think you need to do this you can just create the regular and the word processor will make it bold for you I'll demonstrate that too. So I'm going to upload, install this font here. And so here's uh, Leroy uh, regular. And now I'm going to install my bold. You see how it, it put it in two separate um, categories here? They, these are actually called families there's they are two separate families right so here I'm going to open up a word processor what it, I can't remember what uh, oh I have it right here text edit so this is like Microsoft Word but it's for Mac so and if I'm not mistaken uh, here I'm going to look for my can I type this there it is, Leroy. So I'm going to increase the size so you guys can see it. So there's my uh, Leroy font. If you click this button here, well, see, it doesn't even give me the option to make it bold. So that's not even a choice. If I do want to make bold I have to uh, I have to choose that here it is right here no I see and I don't you can't even make it italic now I believe if I'm not mistaken in a Windows Microsoft Word I believe it makes it bold for you automatically uh, you don't need a separate TTF file I could be mistaken um, so how do we how do we uh, put them in the same family and that's what I'm going to show you next but if if you just wanted a regular font you're pretty much done that's all you have to do let's put uh, this uh, font let's put both of these fonts 
into the same family. Okay, so to put uh, two TTF files in the same family, what you will need is uh, this application here. It's called Font Forge. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can uh, download that. Uh, I I'm using a Mac, obviously. If you were using a window, it would say install Windows. So I'm going to install the Mac. You can make a donation. This is a totally free uh, software that these people have made, I guess, out of the generosity of their own heart. But if you want to donate a little something for their hard work, you know, throw them a couple bucks. But then you click here, confirm download. And you want to click this right here. If you're using OS X 10.12 or later, click this right here. Okay, it's finished downloading, so I'm going to click it. Oh, and if uh, you can't find it, of course, you can go to your Downloads folder. Go to Downloads, and it should be right there, File Forge. You can see this is the third time that I've downloaded this. <laughs> um, so minimize that. So what I like to do is I like to save this in my Applications folder. S oh, since I have this open, I have to go to New Fire Finder Window. And I'm going to put this in my applications because it is an application. So just drag it in there. All right. Once you have that uh, in your applications folder, double click. And you're going to get this warning that says that um, uh, FileForge or FontForge is a unknown yeah here we go see it's an unknown developer so Mac protects you from you know uploading or downloading harmful applications so just click cancel don't move it into the trash just click cancel come in here to your system preference come here to your security privacy and what you'll see here if you go to your general tab you'll see Font Forge was blocked. So just click this open anyways and just hit open. And close this. And so now the software will open every time that um, you click it. And so now this software will allow you to open up any TTF file and you can change the category of it. So but there is something with Mac on a Windows it will work anywhere uh, I, what I mean anywhere is if you have your TTF files on your desktop in a Windows machine you can just go to desktop and then it'll show you uh, the two TTF files but on a Macintosh computer uh, the desktop the documents folder and the downloads folder are protected. You can see here it says unauthorized. So to change that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up file phone file uh, finder and I'm going to go to users. And then you should see this little house icon with your the name of your computer. Click that and then in here what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder and you're going to call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it my fonts just in case I want to create new fonts in the future. And in this folder, I'm going to drag and drop my TTF files. I can now close that. And when I open uh, the font forge, I only need one. Uh, I'm going to go to users. I'm going to go to my my uh, folder here and then look for my fonts here it is my fonts and so here are the two files uh, just open up the regular one right now and you'll get this uh, you'll see your font here for, uh, just ignore that warning and then once you have that open go to file open and then click the bold and hit OK 
So now you have both of these open here. Next thing you want to go to is element. And uh, oh, the reason you you want both of these open is we're going to create a generate a TTC file. I'll explain that when we get there. So go to font information. And here I'm going to change the name, the font name to uh, Leroy Bold. And the family name, this is where the family name must be the same. So Leroy, uh, the name for humans, that's for us so that we can see it, is going to be without the hyphen. And the weight is bold. Then come down here to TTF names. Uh, the family name is Leroy, of course. It's a style bold, yes. The full name, yes, Leroy bold. And in here, preferred preferred family is going to be Leroy. And the preferred style is bold. Hit OK. Yes, change it. So now it's changed. And so now that you have both of these open, and you can, if you want, um, well, we already have that TT, TTF file. But if you want, what you can do now is you can uh, generate a font, which is a TTF file. Or what you can do is generate a TTC file. A TTC file is a collected file. It's basically, instead of having two separate TTF files, you'll have one file that has both of them in it. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up here to the original and generate a TTC file. Here, um, we're going to choose the name of the TTC file. I don't want to call it regular because it's more than just regular. I'm just going to call it that. Leroy TTC. And it's going to save it in my my new folder that I created, my fonts. So I'm just going to click generate. I'm going to hit yes. And so now if I come to my uh, users, my thing here, my fold, my fonts, you'll see here I have my Leroy TTC file. I'm going to create a duplicate of that. Duplicate. And I'll put it in the desktop. I can now close these out. I don't. You can either save this or not save it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to save it. Uh, let me change this name real quick. Okay, so now, uh, before I do that, I'm going to go back into my font book. And I'm going to delete these, these fonts. I don't want it to be duplicated. So, excellent. Um, and so, now we can cl double click the TTC file. Now what you'll see now is that not only do we have regular, we also have bold. So we have both of these TTC files in this, TTF files in this TTC file. So just install the font and what you'll see um, make sure this is checked and then click install the checked and so now you'll see both of these are in the same family right regular and bold and so now when you come to your your text editor let's see here Leroy Oh, it's already here, Leroy. Oh, I need to make it bigger so you guys can see. Leroy. Font. And then I'm allowed to click this button here, bold. And now it's making Leroy bold font. Now it's making the bold font. You can see that the italic 
is grayed out. Apparently, you need to make um, another TT TTF file with your um, your fonts slightly tilted to to make a metallic, and you'll do the same process. You'll use Font Forge to change the category, change the category to italic, and then uh, put them all in the same family when you generate a TTC file. And then you can just double click the TTC file to install it into your Mac or Windows machine. And now, now that that's uh, installed, we can now use every time you install a new font into clip into your computer and you want to use it in clip studio paint you have to reboot clip studio paint and so uh, I just rebooted clip studio paint and so when I come here to my fonts um, so I'll use this as an example when I downloaded this font called back issue BB regular the guy made italic and he made uh, bold and I can't remember if he see the bold doesn't work but he did create bold italic maybe that'll work hold on why isn't it not let there you go See, italic is working, but bold is not working. And he has italic. Italic, and these were not anything. Even though I was clicking these buttons, it still see I clicked the bold and it went back to normal so whoever made this font when I downloaded it I thought it was e as easy as clicking that button but see he didn't put these in the same family now if you come down to the font we created here we go uh, here we go Leroy here's regular and here's bold but the thing is is I don't have to select bold see I can I can just simply click this button here and it becomes bold. I'm sure if I click italic, even with the italic, it becomes slightly tilted. Whereas in the word, in this uh, text editor, it wasn't doing it. Oh, I've already closed it out. But you, if you remember, I was clicking. It was even grayed out. You couldn't even use italic. I'm wondering if I can, can I use bold italic? Yeah, you can even use bold italic. So that's how you put two TTF files in the same family. So um, I hope this helped out. I uh, hope it was useful. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I usually make Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos, uh, but now and then I'll make something different. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments of any of my videos. When I see them, uh, I'll try to answer them in the comment section. And if I can't, I'll try to make a video so that everybody can learn. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.